Dear colleagues, I'm Alexander Ribó and I belong to the National Institute of Health from the Ministry of Health of El Salvador. And I would like to present in this virtual conference the following talk titled Arsenic Pollution in the Bajo Lempar Region, El Salvador. This is a research carried out in 2013 by a multidisciplinary research team formed by environmental scientists, chemical analysts, medicine researchers, and geologists. These are Mejia Quinteros, López, Orantes, Jovel, Dr. Valladares, and Dr. Dina López, and me. First of all, I'm going to introduce the problems related to arsenic pollution. I'm going to speak about the presence of arsenic in El Salvador and about the geographical background of the study area. And I will present the scope of this work. Then I will speak to you about the methodology taking into account sampling process, laboratory analysis and the data organization. After, I will show you the main results and its interpretation. And finally, I will present the main conclusions of this study. Arsenic is a chemical element classified as a metalloid. It's common in nature, as you can see in these distribution maps. You can find it around the world. It's poisonous to multicellular life. In humans, it's related to cancers, cardiovascular diseases, respiratory diseases, neurocognitive deficits, and nephropathies. In different parts of the world, arsenic is a serious problem in human and environmental health. As you can see in these maps, some parts of Latin America and Asia present important arsenic pollution in groundwater related to geogenic sources. Salvadorian soils and waters have a remarkable presence of arsenic. The origin of this arsenic can be related to volcanic bedrock and hydrothermal fluids, because El Salvador is a volcanic region. However, this pollution also can be related to industrial and agrochemical wastes. The pictures show a volcanic and hydrothermal areas close to Bajo Lempa. They are in San Vicente. El Salvador is located in the Pacific coast of Central America. The study area is in Bajo Lempa, a region located in western coastal plain of El Salvador. The region expands along the Lempa River Delta plain, between the Salvadoran Pacific coastline and the littoral highway. Red polygon in the Bajo Lempa sampling map shows the area sampled for surface waters and sediments. Lempa River, Spino River and two shrimp rearing ponds have been sampled. The soils have been sampled in the Black Line Polygon and the groundwaters have been sampled only in Ciudad Romero community. Lempa River is the longest river of Central America and its basin extends mostly Salvadoran territory but also in part of Honduras and Guatemala. Most of the area of Lempa River Basin is agricultural land. This basin also drains the most important population centers of El Salvador and several industrial areas. Bajo Lempa is an important farming region and it presents several protected areas with high ecological value. The population present high social vulnerability due to the high rate of poverty, the frequent disastrous floods, and due to the lack of some basic services. Moreover, there is a high prevalence of a chronic kidney disease not related to diabetes mellitus and hypertension. This disease is commonly known as a CKD related to non-traditional causes. The scope of the present work is to identify and to quantify the arsenic concentrations in soils, sediments, surface waters and groundwaters of Ciudad Romero community. Sampling was done the present year during the dry season. 
A total of 55 water samples were obtained from Lempa River, Spino River, Shrimp Ponds and domestic wells. 108 soil samples were obtained from soil considering both habitational and agricultural areas. Sediment samples were also obtained from the several rivers and from the shrimp ponds. The laboratory analyses were done by a National Reference Laboratory of National Institute of Health of El Salvador. These analyses were carried out using the atomic absorption spectroscopy technique. Finally, all the samples and the laboratory results were georeferenced, digitalized and harmonized in a database compatible with GIS software using a post-GIS platform, a software released under GNU General Public License. As it shown in these maps, there are remarkable concentrations of arsenic in waters and sediments of the rivers and the shrimp ponds located around Ciudad Romero. In Espino River, as at north of Ciudad Romero, a location shown with a red dot in the map, the arsenic concentration in water exceeds the limit of 0.005 mg liter recommended by the Canadian Environmental Quality Guidelines. These guidelines are considered as an environmental reference around the world. As it shown in this slide, the arsenic in soils present an heterogeneous distribution. The areas with maximum arsenic concentrations are located in crop fields. In these areas, the arsenic content in soils exceeds the concentration of 12 mg per kilo, a limit proposed by the Canadian Environmental Quality guidelines for agricultural soils. According to the distribution of arsenic in groundwater obtained from the sampling of domestic wells, there are a very high concentrations of arsenic, especially at southwest at in the east of the community. Most of the highest values can be related to active wells, as it's shown in the map and in the legend of the map. In general, arsenic concentrations in groundwater exceeds the maximum content of arsenic for drinking water according to the Salvadorian legislation. Nowadays, in Ciudad Romero, groundwater is used for livestock, irrigation and housekeeping. But in the past, 10 years ago, these wells were used for obtaining drinking water. According to these results, we can speak about the following topics. The arsenic contents found in soils and waters of Bajo Lempa could be dangerous for human health and environmental health. This pollution could be related to different sources located along the Lempa River Basin. As natural sources, as for example volcanic rocks and hydrothermal waters, and as artificial sources, as for example industrial, urban and agrochemical wastes. As the distribution of arsenic in soils is heterogeneous and the areas with highest arsenic contents in soils are fill crops, these high levels could be related to agriculture, as for example to agrochemical products with arsenic contents applied in these fields. The high arsenic concentrations in groundwater of Ciudad Romero can be related with the reductive conditions that facilitate the arsenic solubility. According to the nephrotoxic properties of arsenic, the high levels of this element in Bajo Lempa could be considered as an environmental risk for CKD of non-traditional causes that affects the population of this region, especially because the arsenic polluted groundwater has been used as a drinking water for many years. An next step in this investigation 
will be to identify other toxic elements in the environment, as lead or cadmium, and to identify the arsenic contents in the agrochemicals used in the region and in the several agricultural products. Finally, we can summarize the main results in three different conclusions. First, we conclude that surface water, groundwater, soils and sediments of Ciudad Romero present an arsenic pollution dangerous for the population and the environment. Then, we conclude that arsenic contamination of the studied region could be related to natural and to artificial sources present along the Lempa River Basin and also to the agrochemical products with arsenic content used in the Bajo Lempa. Finally, we can say that arsenic pollution can be considered as a risk factor of the CKD related to non-traditional causes that heavily affects the population of the Bajo Lempa. Thanks for your attention and regards from El Salvador a nice tropical country.